Welcome back. In this video, we shall be looking at creating a surface using the multi-section surface command. The multi-section surface command allows the creation of a surface that transitions smoothly through a series of cross-sectional profiles. This is particularly useful for designing complex shapes such as aerodynamic surfaces, automotive bodywork, and consumer product casings. For this example, we shall use four simple sections or curves to create the surface. Once we have created the surface, we can change the curves and change the output of the surface. The first thing we need is a part with the sections that we shall use. Making sure we are in the GSD workbench, we can then select the multi-section surface command. This will open a dialog box where we can simply select the curves in turn. Select OK and the surface will be created. We can now change the curves if we wish. The surface will recreate automatically. We can also control the surface by adding guide curves to the multi-surface selection. Guide curves are auxiliary curves that help define and control the shape of the surface created between multiple sections. They play a crucial role in ensuring that the surface transitions smoothly and follows a desired path, particularly in complex shapes. The example is not so complex, but we can still put guide curves to good use. First, we need to create a line that crosses each of the section curves. The first curve will pass through the origin of the curves. The second line, we will have to control the end point of the line by projecting the first curve's end point into each sketch and attaching the end point of the sketch to it. Once the line is created, we can select the multi-section surface command and pick the four curves as before. But then we click on the guide section in the dialog box and add the two lines we have created. Note, make sure all the direction arrows are pointing in the same direction before clicking OK or the surface will be twisted or not created. We can now change the sketch to change the resulting surface.
And there you have it, a comprehensive look at creating multi-section surfaces in CATIA V5. We've explored how to define sections, use guide curves and tweak parameters to craft smooth surfaces that meet your design needs. Whether you're working on automotive body designs, aerospace components, or intricate consumer products, mastering the multi-section surface command will significantly enhance your modeling capabilities. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment with different sections and guides to see how they impact your surface. If you found this video helpful or useful in any way, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Katia tutorials. Drop any questions or comments below. We'd love to hear about your experiences and any challenges you might be facing. Thanks for watching and happy designing with Katia V5. See you in the next video.